right, everyone. Chill. 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 In this video, we're going to dive deep into the infinite blind build that focuses on moth keepers as well as other multiple tools that we can utilize to make the best out of the situation. So that being said, let's jump in to the video. The main criteria of this build is pretty straightforward in that you want to make use of your multiple grenades through Moth Keepers, as well as utilizing Prismatic to optimize your Prismatic grenades to slow and freeze targets, thus allowing you to take massive control of the environment and using things like Centrifuge among other respective Stasis and Arc weapons in tandem to get the most value. This build really is consistent. I've tested it across multiple different playlists, whether it's a Vanguard or the new Salvation Onslaught mode. And honestly, it has been extremely fun, extremely rewarding. And for those of you who are ARC fans, ARC mains, this really does speak to you. So we're going to dive deeper into the respective weapons that you can utilize to really get the maximum profit. And of course, spoiler alert, there will be some of the new weapons that we've received thus far. And those are honestly some of the best tools that we can utilize. So in the, as a whole, the objective is, once again, build up your meter, get as many grenades as you possibly can through prismatic, as well as your moth keeper grenades and utilizing things like your withering blades to slow targets, thus giving you a chance to freeze them, jolt them, blind them, and it's just an infinite loop and therefore opponents can't touch you. So let's move on to the next section. To keep things short and sweet in this section, I'll be focusing primarily on some of the newer options that we have in the game, most notably the ones that come with Dark Aether Reaper, the new origin trait. And so we're going to kick things off with the Excuvae and move forward from there. Now, of course, if you want to use your own respective weapon combinations, by all means, just make sure that it does pertain to jolting, blinding, and of course, freezing targets. Now, Excuvae comes with Rhyme Stealer and Headstone. These are two excellent perk combinations that you can utilize. And Rhyme Stealer most notably states that destroying a stasis crystal or defeating a frozen target with this weapon grants you frost armor. The reason why this is fantastic is because by default, your moths give you a void shield and that you can utilize with not only yourself, but your teammates. But this also gives you frost armor as well. So you have a more defensive build that you can really use to survive over long periods of time headstone of course is always going to be a go-to option just because of that stasis crystal giving you a nice additional utility when it comes to dealing with targets on the battlefield next we have the liturgy hopefully i'm saying this correctly but the reason why i love this grenade launcher is because it comes with chill clip which is really potent. You want to be able to slow targets, thus giving you a chance to make better use of your moths to blind them. And that also works in tandem with disorienting grenades because you can just consistently apply blind with disorienting with your moths. And we're going to go into your centrifuge and the other options soon. But all this in tandem together just really, really synergizes perfectly. And of course, with the new origin trait, Dark Aether Reaper, final blows with this weapon periodically spawn Dark Aether charges. And charges can be detonated early with weapons, fire, or by coming into contact with them. Doing so refills the weapons from the reserves. So most notably for grenade launchers, it's great because you're always going to have ammo available consistently, which is great. And that takes less stress off your head when you're engaging in battle. This will be perfect for you. Next up is Centrifuge. Now you could have other options. You can rock with something like the Trinity Ghoul. If you wanted a more bow option, you can go with something like Vantage Point, the new pulse rifle that comes with Volt Shot indebted kindness sightline survey these are all great options as well but i love centrifuge here because it also blinds targets once you hit max charge and it's pretty easy to hit max charge when you're always constantly running around 
especially in modes like Onslaught Salvation or any other playlist where you're just constantly engaging with enemies. So being able to blind with Centrifuge as well as your Moth Keeper grenades and you pair that with other things like your Excuvae or your Liturgy Grenade Launcher is always fantastic. And then lastly, we have Bittersweet. This is one of my favorite new weapons. And that's because it comes with loose change and the new jolting feedback, which states that dealing in repeated damage with this weapon inflicts jolt, and while amplified, jolt is applied faster. This is really, really awesome. This combination is fantastic as well, just because when you're applying a debuff to a target, which we'll always be doing, this gives me reload speed increase, aim assist, and movement while aiming down sights. Now, of course, the most notable option is the reload speed for the grenade launcher, and you pair that with your weapon mod, which also gives you reload speed and handling, and that's gonna be really good on a grenade launcher. And you pair that as well with the Dark Aether Reaper, and you can see why overall there's just a consistency when it comes to really doing infinite build, or infinite blind, sorry. You're always gonna be blinding targets, jolting them, slowing them, so on and so forth and it's a nice healthy rinse and repeat option that you can always rely on and it's very dependable so that being said as i mentioned before you can try other combinations with weapons to see what works for you but in the meantime i suggest trying these out they're really fun to use and it's given me the best results thus far so let's move on to the final section So let's cut straight to the chase and we'll dive into our armor mods and we're going to jump into our prismatic section and wrap things up with the artifact. So helmet section, we have the harmonic siphon, which is for void. And this is just because we're rocking with prismatic, the shadow shot deadfall. We'll go into more detail into that very soon. And as well as the arc siphon and stasis siphon. These two are going to be your more notable options to pick since we're going to be always utilizing both arc and stasis predominantly. And then next up, we have the Moth Keepers, which come with Heavy Handed, Firepower, and Momentum Transfer. All three of which work in tandem, since you're going to be utilizing your grenades, as well as your Withering Blades. And by doing so, reduces your melee cooldown. So it's all just feeding back into the whole loop of the infinite blinding, infinite jolting, slowing, and freezing. And next up, we have the Chest Armor, which comes with Melee Damage Resistance, Harmonic resistance, you can change this one if you wanted, but of course, because I'm rocking with Prismatic Void, we, this one is avail available, but you don't have to. And lastly, we have Concussive Dampener, which of course is great for AoE. Next up, we have the Leg Armor, which comes with double Arc Weapon Surges and a single Stasis Weapon Surge. Now this can of course be shifted and swapped out for something else if you feel the need to do so. I just want to make sure that I have no consistent damage output for my arc weapons as well as some damage for my stasis weapons and then lastly we have the hunter cloak which comes with reaper as well as time dilation this just ensures that we're going to always have consistent uptime with our weapon surges due to the longer duration of time for time dilation and then we're going to rock into the prismatic section now, this section hasn't really changed as much. You can go back and watch my other Moth Keeper video that goes into detail about the fragments. But as far as abilities, that has changed because we're rocking more with Stasis and Arc. So we have the Withering Blade. This is really fantastic because it helps for us to slow down enemies when we're engaging in battle, making it easier for us to target them with things like our Moth Keeper grenades, our Prismatic grenades, or just shooting them in the face with any of our weapons. Grapple here is not going to be of use since by default, the Moth Keeper will override whatever it is you have in this ability socket. So we can skip on that. As far as aspects, we're going to rock with Executioner and Winter Shroud. Shroud and Withering Blade work perfectly together. And of course, Executioner, making sure that you're invisible, just gives you a chance to survive for much longer on the battlefield. And if you're able to perform a melee attack afterward, you can weaken more targets, making it easier to do more damage. Fragments wise, I won't go into too much detail. You can pause here if you want to get more information, but I've got Facet Protection, Facet of Awakening, Facet of Devotion, Facet of Dawn, and Facet of Purpose. So all of these together really help to ensure that 
not only do I survive, but it can also ensure that my teammates are well equipped and I'm always just doing consistent damage, always applying blind, always applying jolt, collecting resources, and never really ending that constant loop. And then, as I mentioned before, we're rocking with Shadow Shot Deadfall, which just gives us a nice added supplement when it comes to dealing with AoE and just ad clearing. Being able to just tether targets together gives us a chance to throw our moth grenades into that whole circle of enemies, dealing with them instantly, and then you finish them off with Withering Blade, as well as other respective weapons in your arsenal. Now, lastly, we're going to go into the artifacts section. And the most notable options here to choose, in my opinion, for this particular build is Wind Chill. You want to go with Trace Evidence. You want to also go with Debilitating Wave, Retinal Burn, and lastly, Conductive Cosmic Crystal. Now, the reason why I've chosen Wind Chill is because you want to gain Frost Armor through your weapons, your most notably your Stasis weapons. And then also rapid precision hits from weapons with the Dark Ether Reaper trait grants you more stacks of frost armor. So this really plays into just defensive capabilities, ensuring you survive for long periods of time. And then also trace evidence is great because it states that rap rapid precision hits or rapid final blows on targets affected by jolt or blind will generate ionic traces. And then when you're boost, when you have your tonic, Picking up these traces grants you more armor charge. So that really plays into, again, consistent damage output with your weapon surges. It's really fantastic. Next up, debilitating wave is great because every time you finish off an enemy, that's going to emit your respective element to your super. So in this case, because of its void, we're going to be weakening targets. And then with retinal burn, Rapid arc weapon precision hits consume an armor charge to blind the target. This is just a quintessential part of the build. So retinal burn is your go-to option. And then lastly, conductive cosmic. Your arc abilities, void abilities, and weapons with the dark ether reaper trait do bonus damage to targets that are affected by stasis debuff. And because of course we're rocking with a lot of stasis weapons, this is going to be easy to proc and thus giving this build once again, long-term value. Now things can change over time and I don't want to focus too much on the artifact just because as an evergreen video, if this artifact happens to change over time, the build itself will still remain the same. So keep that in mind for future content. So all that being said, thank you so much for tuning into this video. I hope this build has given you some inspiration and I hope it helps you in the content moving forward. So if you want to see more Destiny 2 content, more sci-fi videos along the way, Apex Legends, be sure as always to like, comment, and subscribe. And you warriors, stay strong, keep fighting, and may the force be with you all, always. Alrighty, take care of yourselves. See you again soon. Peace.